Now, some may call it a Christmas miracle, but Milwaukee firefighters say it's just part of the job. Last Thursday, a 911 call sent crews to a retention pond right by American Family Field. They found a car filling with water fast. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore shares the incredible rescue effort in tonight's top story. It almost sounded like she dropped the cell phone and all I heard was like water rushing around. Two nights before Christmas Eve, Rebecca McAleese got a call this dispatcher with 20 years on the job won't soon forget. It was definitely one of the most memorable and scariest calls that I've ever taken. DOT camera shows the moment this car veered off the highway across from the ballpark, landing in the middle of a retention pond. So her car was able to hold on the outskirts once it reached the middle, that's when the vehicle fell through. The driver was frantic, telling dispatch that she feared she was going to die. She says she was cut off in traffic, and that is how she wound up here. Days later, the tracks are still evident. So is the area right in the middle where her car began to sink. She kept telling me she was going to die. She truly thought she was going to die. And I just had to keep reassuring her and say, just stay with me, talk with me. Dispatch told the driver to remain as still as possible so water would flow in at a slower pace. We obtained the incident report within minutes of the 911 call. Icy water is already up to her chest, but the dive team pulls up. The vehicle came off the freeway into the pond. I just remember it was a really cold night. Our crews on scene actually broke one of the windows, the driver window, and was able to pull her out. So just knowing that, hearing that on the on the side channels or on the radio channels that they've made the rescue and that she's still alive is, it's a sense of satisfaction that I did what I needed to do to give a family back their loved one, and she's up, walking, talking. To this day, that's a huge win for us. Outside American Family Field, Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.